All right, here with Ronnie Rowe. Ronnie Rowe designs a male and a female hobby. Good uh, to be with you. Thank you very much, Gary. <laughs> Been uh, cross-stitch designing for 38 years. Got into it. My wife, uh, like a lot of men, was sitting around watching ball games. And she said, here, try this. <laughs> and I tried a small sample of cross stitch and then went to something a little larger. Figured I could design just like anyone else could. And so started in small and started printing some books. In the early years, went to Charlotte to a trade show they had in Charlotte, North Carolina. And the last one we attended was in 87. Mm. And since then, that time, I've continued on with various uh, subject matters, but still keeping with buildings. That's normally what I really okay. was interested in. And when I did a design, what I really wanted to do was a design not just a square box with four holes we call windows. I wanted to give the cross stitch, and everything's done on the 45, I wanted to give it some perspective to make it look like a painting. Uh, the three okay, I have. So these are the new ones now for this year. Yes, sir, they are. The three I have for this Nashville 2018 show. And uh, the one you're looking at right here is a building I took a picture of uh, several years ago up in Gloucester, Massachusetts. It's an old lobster house. And decided to put a rope in front of it uh -huh. to give it some perspective. So sure. I did that. Then went on to another house of a picture. And it was kind of bland looking, so I livened it up along with some color, mm -hmm. like uh, autumn colors. I uh -huh. thought that looked good. It satisfied me at the time. And then I took the same house and went down and said, well, I wonder what it looked like in the winter. <laughs> oh, there so, we go. Yep. And that's done in brown. That's got 27 mm -hmm. colors of brown and cream in there. So and that was a very hard piece to stitch. I bet. Based on the fact there were so many changes with my very subtle changes mm -hmm. with the needles. So yeah. Anyway, did those. That's yeah. the latest one. Got into ships. Somebody, we're from the East Coast in the Hampton Roads area of Virginia, and so we have some nautical museums close by, and so decided, well, I'll do some ships. Uh -huh. And so <laughs> did those, and uh, that's one example. We have another example around the side here of another ship. Oh, yeah. I had three of those. Uh -huh. Um. Continuing on, we did the uh, Midsummer series. In the Midsummer series, I got that inspiration. We were watching Netflix and uh, the Midsummer Murders. And they had some very interesting cottages over in England where the Midsummer Murders, the series, was filmed. And uh, while watching the series, I noticed all these beautiful little cottages. So I would uh -huh. stop what we were watching in the middle of the show and take a picture of it. <laughs> Take a picture of the TV. Of the uh, TV. Sure. <clears throat> and enhanced a lot of it. Uh -huh. Then we got into the black and whites for a long time. And that's probably right now one of my best sellers. This is, this is just square, just straight stitching, no back stitching, no half quarter stitch. Uh -huh. This is just one square stitching on white fabric. Yep. And so we did a whole bunch of those, and they, they have been really well received well, that's neat. Uh, all over the world, really. And the other one, the Music Teacher's House, and what I called the Colonial Pathway. But these are a very, very time consuming, but it's still just one square. If you have, I tell people if you make one square, you can make a hundred squares, you can yep. make a thousand. So. <laughs> and so yeah. we got into those. And uh, like I say, that's probably my number one seller yeah. right now. Yeah, the light um, and dimension on that is amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Several years ago, I wanted to come up with something different than houses to do, so I decided I was going to do some cats. Okay. And so we went around uh -oh. to the cats, and so uh -oh. I had to come up with what I was going to call these cats. I wanted to do the cats. I didn't want the whole cat. I wanted to do cats' faces. So mm -hmm. I came up with a thing called It's All in the Eyes. I thought uh -huh. that pretty good. Yep. So I came up with that, and I've got five different cats in that particular series. <laughs> then I came up with five other cats. And oh, yeah. Now, here, now we have the whole here. series. Yeah. I got that. And these are what I call here Kitty Kitty. Uh -huh. And they've been good sellers also yeah. throughout the years. Yeah. Um, like I say, I've been doing this. 
Been doing it for 38 years, enjoyed it. People have asked me, uh, why do you do this full time? No, I retired in NASA. Uh, I didn't do that. I, <laughs> this was just yep. started out a hobby and it really continue on today as a yeah. hobby for me. Excellent. I Let's tell I tell all the, uh, I would like to tell all the new designers out there, the people who haven't been doing it 38 years, do what you like to do. Don't worry about making money at this. Just do what you like and everything will fall in place. Take care of itself. It'll take yep. care of itself. All right. Appreciate it. Thanks. Okay. Thank you. I don't know how